What's up guys, welcome back to Adaptive Content, the show that teaches you how to get Hollywood effects on a Bollywood budget. I'm your host Luke Manley and today we're going to be showing you a new member of our family. Introducing the GH4. With capabilities of shooting up to 4K, this sucker is super crispy. Paired with an FD lens from the 1970s and using a Metabones adapter to allow the image to be super clean. With capabilities of shooting 4K at 30fps and 1080p at a smooth crispy 96 frames per second and also 1080p at 60fps at 200 megabytes, this camera gives you super clean and crispy images. The 96 frames per second not only is super crispy, but allows us to slow down the image and get a super smooth, fluid, slow motion capture. These clips were shot at 800 ISO and there is no noise in them at all. We also have a clip here of 1600 ISO and that also has no noise in it. Now if you jump up to 32 ISO and 6400 ISO, you're going to start getting that noise. Now, one of the best features we found out while playing with this camera was the digital zoom capability. Another feature we find very useful is the focus assist. So for the GH4's memory writing capabilities, we're going to be using the SanDisk Extreme Pro 95 megabytes per second SD card. This is going to allow us to use the 200 megabytes per second on the 1080p and any other features that the uh, GH4 can use. This is also great because it's 128 gigabytes and with about uh, 25 minutes of footage, we only filled up about six gigabytes worth of this. So this is a card you can pop in and use all day. We actually bought two of them just in case one of them doesn't work. Another good feature with the GH4 is if you're not recording uh, audio externally, you can actually plug directly into the 3.5 millimeter jack and uh, have headphones directly on you, and that's a great way to monitor your audio. You can also monitor in real time or recording, and if you're monitoring recording, and if you're not recording, you're not going to hear any audio. One of the best things about the GH4 and Panasonic is that Panasonic actually made a dedicated app for the GH4. This allows you to over Wi-Fi see in real time and I was honestly surprised because I didn't see any latency in the LCD display and the display on like an iPhone over Wi-Fi. It was great and you're also able to control a bunch of the features including ISO, recording, shutter speed and many other things including um, Send it like D, send it like V, all your formats, and pretty much anything on the camera you can control wirelessly on the um, app. So as always guys, thank you for watching, and if you want to go Nota Pro, definitely hit that subscribe button as it helps us out a lot and keeps you up to date on all the latest news from our channel, and definitely be on the lookout for that demo reel video we put up earlier this week.